Welcome to Better Daily Life, where we are moving forward one percent better every single day. Download the app and supercharge your journey at BetterDaily.life. Now it's time to get facts and get facts with your host and my dad, Alex Van Houten. What is up, Betterment family? This is Alex Van Houten in Better Daily Live. Happy Monday. It is Mindset Monday, one of my favorite days of the week because we are setting up our minds to do an awesome job this week in pursuing our 1% better journey. And before we get to our mindset, which is worth it, hashtag worth it. I think that's what the kids are saying these days. Well, it's deeper than that, but we'll get there. Before we get there, though, I do want to invite you to register right now for the Faithful 40 Challenge. We have our Fall Faithful 40 Challenge registration open, and it's going to be an awesome challenge. We have two about two weeks of registration, and it starts on October 1st. And so between now and October 1st, get registered, get intentional about your goals, spend a little time and energy in setting that up. And this is the first time that we've had a freemium version of the app during a Faithful 40 Challenge, which means for you that if you join the Faithful 40 Challenge and you have friends and family in your life that you want to do the challenge with you, it doesn't cost them anything to join. So share the registration with them. Let them get in here as well. Set up their account and password and and do a freemium account here in Better Daily, and they can do the Faithful 40 Challenge with you as well. The app still has paid services. So there's there's a portion of the app where, like if you go to live seminars, for instance, and you click on our live seminar recordings, some of our seminars are for premium members. Those are seminars like Trauma in Your Health, or weight loss, or getting more out of your sleep. And then there are other seminars that are open to our freemium members, things like setting better goals, or there is one on supplements and (laughs) what can be good about supplements and, and what to watch out for and getting the most out of your recovery. So these are awesome seminars. And there's, golly, there's probably like 15 to 20 hours somewhere in there of free content for our freemium members. And for our premium members, we have uh, probably double that. So anyway, that said, set it up, get registered, invite friends and family, the more the merrier, and the more you are supported and can support others in the Faithful 40 Challenge, the more meaningful and impactful it'll be to you. Good morning, Robin. Good to see you this morning, brother. Thank you for joining me. So today's mindset is hashtag worth it. Now I say hashtag worth it because you can go to social media and search that hashtag. I don't really use it a lot here in Better Daily. I don't know if I should or not. (laughs) I think it goes without saying that becoming 1% better for yourself, for your family, and for your community is worth it. But in the social media space, hashtag worth it is like saying, I did this thing, it was hard, but it was worth it. Or I don't know if I would do that again, but it was worth it. I saw somebody hash, you can do anything from the spiciest tacos you've ever had in your life, hashtag worth it. (laughs) Or it costs this much to go on a cruise with my family, hashtag worth it. There's a bunch of different ways that this is used in the, the social media space. For here though, and for our mindset this week, I have a really important question for you. And the question is this, what makes it worth it to you? What makes it worth it to you? So here in Better Daily, I talk a lot about this 1% better. It's the idea that that literally every single day that you're alive presents an opportunity to you. Maybe it presents multiple opportunities, but it definitely presents at least one opportunity to you to be better today than you were yesterday. And that's the 1%, right? The 1% is not like a specific quantity. I know we say 1%. It's hard to quantify. How are you 1% better today than yesterday? doesn't mean like yesterday I could deadlift 300 pounds, and today I can deadlift 303 pounds. It's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is that small but possible incremental change that is better today than yesterday. And we talk about that a lot here. And that opportunity presents itself to people. They don't always see it, 
but that opportunity always presents itself to people. Sometimes it's in the form of an intention around your emotions. Maybe yesterday when you were angry or bored or tired, you would have drowned your sorrows in a Starbucks latte. But today you went to Starbucks while angry, bored, and tired. I don't know if you can do all those things at the same time, but maybe you did. And and instead of your caramel latte that you normally get, which is 72 grams of sugar and a waste of $7, you got some water and a black coffee instead. Now, you still are using coffee to deal with your angry, bored, and tired problem, but it's slightly better than it was yesterday. And there's a lot of things like that in life, right? Yesterday, you didn't exercise. Today, you made it a point to walk a mile. And tomorrow, maybe you'll walk a mile plus a minute. And maybe the next day, you'll walk a mile plus two minutes. I'm friends with a man in our community. and he's a, he's a really good guy. He's a retired veteran. And he is working right now on, on his health. He had a rough accident, shattered a tibia. And, well, right now, walking's the best he's got. It's very hard for him to walk. And, but, but he's walking this lap in the local park. And so I went and walked with him. <laughs> you, you can walk a mile in a man's shoes. Or you could walk a mile with a man in your own shoes. I, I feel like some of that, that works out pretty well, too. Anyway, so we're walking, right? And we're talking. And I'm thinking... Oh, it's going to be a walk. You know, it's going to be a leisurely walk. He's like, no, no, uh, my time is 9.15. I got to go 9.13 this time. No joke. We're getting better every lap. That's his goal. And I love that mentality because that is literally what 1% better is like. It's I did this. How can I get better at that? That doesn't necessarily mean a better time every time. It doesn't necessarily mean a better caloric count for your snack. It just means in this little place in my life, how could it be better? And you could think about that for a while. And it's easy to dream really big and then not do anything. It's a little harder to dream really big and then ask yourself what the 1% in that direction looks like. Now, I've said a whole bunch of things, but this mindset worth it matters. Because when I work with people on a regular basis and I say, how could your health be better? How could your fitness be better? How could your day be better? How could you manifest better? They're full of these wonderful goals and visions and thoughts. But if I say, what in your life makes it worth it? It's a little harder to chew on that one. It's easy to say things that are worth it. It's not easy to know things that are worth it. I mean to say, oh, my wife and kids really matter to me, or it really matters to me not to deteriorate my health. It really matters to me to have more energy. You could say those things. Those are the things that you think makes it worth it. But here's the thing. You have a battle every single day when you wake up on your betterment journey. You have a battle every single day, and the battle is this. The difficulty of betterment can't be more than what in your life is worth it. I'll say that again. The difficulty of betterment, how difficult it is to take the step of better, the difficulty of betterment, can't be more than what is worth it to you in your life. I'm working with a man right now, and he is working to improve his health and wellness. He has a weight loss goal. He has a significant amount of obstacles in his life. He has a very, very high stress job. It's hard on him. And there are other obstacles too from his past. But all that to say, if I, if I ask him, why is this worth it to you? He has one very simple answer. My son. My son makes this worth it to me. Because there's a kind of dad I didn't have growing up. And I want to be that dad. And well, every day, it's a battle to be who he knows he can be, to take a small step in the direction of better for himself. It's very difficult. He's going against years of bad habits. He's going against a body that doesn't work really well for him. And when he faces those challenges, all he has to say is, is my son worth it or not? That's all he has to ask. Because when he asks that question, the answer is always, yes, yes, my son's worth it. And so he does it. He does the hard thing. He does the thing he doesn't feel like doing. He does the thing that he doesn't want to do. He does the thing he doesn't have the energy to do. He does the thing that's on top of everything else that's going on in his life. He says, yes, my son's worth it. And so he does it. And that's the mindset today. My question to you is what makes it worth it to you? Why is it worth it? Why is it hashtag worth it to you? What makes it worth it to you? And if you're worth it... <laughs> isn't as big as the difficulty of better, you won't get better. You won't do it. And the reason is, is because better is hard. Better is painful. Better is growth. And the only way you're going to get better is by doing the difficult things. And if the difficulty of betterment is bigger 
then what makes it worth it to you? You won't do it. So if you find yourself in a place where you're continually acting against your better self, one of the things you can do, you write down why it's worth it. Just write it down. The simpler, the better, but it's okay to be complicated at first. Why is it worth it to you? Good morning, KT. Good to see you this morning. She says, because I'm able to give of myself to others in many ways. It's a really good reason. And I like that that gets you out of bed in the morning. For me, my worth it, it's very simple for me right now. I have young kids and I want to be kind of like my, my client would say, I want to be a father for them in a way that I didn't get to experience having a father. And so when I'm tired and I don't want to do X, Y, Z, or when I'm in pain and I don't want to do this thing, or when it would be easier to take this road than this road, I take the hard road. And the reason is, is because my sons are worth it. Robin says, it's worth it to me to be a servant. That's an inspiring answer. Sometimes I, being a servant isn't quite as important to me as maybe it should be. But what makes it worth it to you? Here in Mindset Monday, my goal for you is to set a mindset that will really help you to pursue better this week. And I hope that you'll spend some time today thinking about what makes it worth it to you. So that throughout the week, every time you have that opportunity in your day to take the 1% better road, you'll do it because it's worth it. Guys, this has been Alex Van Houten in Better Daily Live. Thank you so much for joining me. Register for the Faithful 40 Challenge. You'll see the link in the comments below. And I'm going to be extra annoying about it this week, so don't you worry. You won't miss out. Until next time, it's just 1%. You've got this. Thank you for joining us for your 1% better. Be you, just better, in mind, body, and spirit. Go to betterdaily.life, download our app, and check out our five-star coaching resources. We all have a cross to carry. It's lighter when we do it together. Go to betterdaily.life today.